Welcome to No More Risk. I'm here at the SimZone at the FM Global Learning Center, and today we're going to talk about safely storing liquids that burn to prevent an uncontrolled fire event at your facility. Do you have any containers like this in your facility? Ignitable liquids are commonly stored in these containers, called intermediate bulk containers, or IBCs. So why is this a concern? Well, the container could be breached due to physical damage, or it could melt if exposed to extreme heat, such as in a fire. Consider this bottle of water. As I pour it onto the floor, think about how far this water would spread. And this is only about one and a half liters. Now imagine a container that holds more than 750 times the amount of liquid, like this intermediate bulk container. Think about how far this would spread if it were breached. The problem is further multiplied when you have more than one of these containers in an area. The flash point of the liquid will determine the speed the fire will spread across the spill. But even a high flash point liquid like oil will produce a very large pool fire that can overwhelm your fire protection system. If this were to happen, the result would not be a minor disruption for you. It would likely be significant downtime an impact to your ability to deliver to customers, and probably some damage to your reputation. Let's take a closer look at this IBC. This very common cube-shaped composite IBC has a metal cage and blow-molded plastic inner container, as well as bottom dispenser. Millions of these IBCs are used globally for the shipping and storage of almost any liquid, including fuels, process chemicals, adhesives, syrups, and more. These containers are ideal shipping units and have a proven track record, but they are not designed to prevent the release of the contained liquid in a fire scenario. So what can you do? Well, our first recommendation is always to move ignitable liquid storage out and away from your facility. However, that's not always practical. For years, FM Global's research teams have been studying the fire hazards of these storage containers. And there are now FM-approved solutions. Let's take a look at two. First, you could leverage FM-approved intermediate bulk containers for storage situations. For example, this product has double wall construction with an inner plastic container and then a sealed metal shell. This can contain the contents if the inner layer is breached. It's the same size and capacity as conventional IBCs. This unit also features top dispensing to further minimize the risk of leaks. Let's go take a look at a solution for using IBCs in a production area. A solution for using IBCs in production areas is an FM-approved containment unit. This solution holds a single composite IBC and will capture the ignitable liquid in the space below if released and contain a fire that may ignite. The unit has the capacity of up to 150% of the container's contents. This allows it to accommodate additional water or foam discharged from the fire protection system to combat a pool fire. The primary benefit of this device is its ability to contain released ignitable liquid and limit the pool area. By maintaining a small pool area, the fire is kept small. FM approved products give you the confidence that a product has undergone rigorous testing so that you can trust in its ability to safeguard your property. Visit the FM approval guide to learn more. I'll see you next time on No More Risk.